you know, I wasn't in a, a good environment. And so when I would go into the gym, it just be a stress release and just an overall good environment for me and my mental health. Well, I've been in martial arts for a total of nine years, but just stand up, I want to say a total of seven years. My favorite part of training is the pain and suffering. And then just knowing that this is tough shit and only a few select people are willing to put themselves through it. Why am I coach? Because I want to show people that you're not always going to enjoy what you go through, but you got to build the mental calcification to get the job done, no matter what it is. You got to be strong enough to push through things you don't want to push through. Whether they're young kids that want to come box, whether they're, you know, someone looking to compete, they're a teenager, you know, they're a middle-aged mom, they're a dad, they're whoever they are, I train everyone. The first day I walked into this gym, Jeremiah accepted me without a doubt. He's always accepted every student, and it's like first day, you're like either his little brother, his little sister. When I'm, when I'm like pain and suffering, that's how we get better at, um, at what he tell, like tells us to do. I could really push harder than I know I can, and um, let everyone can like try hard, and I can do better than I did before. It's, it's a family here. Whenever I come here, everybody's so like close knit, and um, everybody's just coming in, getting in their work, um, trying to get better every day. And, you know, it's uh, that positive energy definitely rubs off on all of us, and uh, definitely makes me want to come back. The best part of being a coach is knowing that your students hate the, hate the workout, but at the end of the day they say thank you because they wouldn't have done it without you. When I put my shoes on, when I lace my gloves up, I feel like I can do anything and I can help students accomplish anything that we put our minds to.